Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel from Coralus, and this is Reefing on a Budget with Spare Parts. And I want to give you a little update on what we're working on and show you some ideas that I have so I can get some of your feedback. So, number one, we already got some of the plumbing parts, the union seals that we're going to drill in the back for the ghost overflow. So we are going to build a custom acrylic ghost overflow, but I decided instead I may make one that's part of the rock sculpture and I may build my own floating overflow with coral inserts. So that's something that I'm going to think about. Um, and also the plumbing. I'm going to drill this top tank to the bottom and I'm going to have to worry about my water level and my auto top off so I need to make sure when this shuts off that the tank doesn't overflow. So that's one reason why I have the backflow protector um, on the return line so whenever the water goes off the flap will close and the water can't drain back and that's going to help me out a big a lot because the water slickly slowly trickles back down. So if you have a fast pump and a lot of drains are rated at you know so many gallons per hour depending on the size of the drain. So if you have a pump that's a little too fast for your tank, it's gonna increase that drainage later on because the water is filling up faster and it takes enough gravity for it to siphon and fall, you know, to drain back down. So once the power goes off, that siphon's gonna level and anything above that level is gonna is drain. So that's why sometimes a high speed return isn't always the best for your system. It's better to have the water going through the refugium and it's just a little bit safer for your system all around. So the high power turnover pumps aren't as important as you think they are, it's the water flow in the tank that's important. So I'm going to deal with that too. Also I may make the return line have two separate inlets to blow around to help circulate. I may um, have them pulse or something, I'm still debating on that. So let me show you the surprise that I've been holding back. Um, I absolutely love the color orange, so let me just show you one of these PVC pipes I got. It's going to look super awesome. So this is a one inch PVC orange pipe and it's gonna look absolutely incredible with this setup when it's all done. So I have one inch and three quarter that I got out of this box. Um, now they also, if you guys are interested and want to know where I got this from, this is from BRS and they do have this in red, blue, black, um, I think there's purple, yellow, I think green. So they have all kinds of colors to suit your needs. If you're like me and you like to pimp out your tank, then this is the perfect way to do it because nothing looks cleaner than colored PVC that's matching. Um, I was going to do two different colors, one for the return line, then one for the drain, but I decided, you know what, the orange was cool enough for this small system because it's not going to have that much pipe anyway, so I'm just going to stick with all orange. But I do want you guys feedback on if you think I should do the floating rock structure and then have the bottom completely open. If you think a sand bed is something that's worth working on or just scrap the bed since it's a small tank and just put corals all over the bottom. So I think that's pretty cool to have a floating aquascape return and drain all one unit so that's a pretty sick idea and you guys would get to see me make that and mold it so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Feel free to throw back any um, ideas you guys have that may be interesting. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Stay tuned for next time.